hi guys welcome to my channel thank you for joining me on another video my name is and this is scent solutions underscore ne we talk about affordable perfumes here so if that's the kind of thing you like welcome on board today we are looking at this one barakat ombre eve and it's from fragrance world basically so this is the pack and uh, let me just remove that so you can see what it looks like inside now the pack really gives me a bit of a challenge to open um so it just takes too much time it takes too much time here we go this is what the pack looks like it does look like the original this is a shameless dupe of barakat um you know sorry not barakat now it's a shameless dupe of mfk's grand soir forgive me okay now here is what the bottle looks like this is beautiful again looks exactly like grand soir and i, I got this a few months ago i've been testing it out because you know I, I always like to be sure of what i'm coming to talk to you about so i like to test and you can see the dent guys you can see the dent right okay so here we go let's get into it now what are the notes in here definitely this is an amber vanilla so right off the bat it's an amber perfume this is amber benzoin vanilla tonka labdanum and lavender those are the notes indicated for this perfume what does it smell like to me unfortunately i've smelled grand soir but i haven't used it or sort of like tested it enough to have a definitive opinion or be able to do a comparative analysis so i will just stick to my review of Barakat Ombre Eve in and of itself. This starts off with your amber, obviously. So you're going to get a nice, warm amber vanilla when you first spray this. It's just very comforting, slightly resinous. Okay, so you're also going to get that resinous quality from the benzoin and also from the labdanum in here. There's a slight sweetness too that comes through from the tonka or that mix of tonka and vanilla. So it's like slightly sweet, slightly resinous, warm amber vanilla. That's what this is. The lavender, I kind of get. And it's not used in a way that is overpowering. So lavender is not the star of this show at all. All it just does is lend just a slightly bit of a floral, elegant component to this perfume. And it's not in a way that is overpowering at all. So you can compare the way lavender is used here to maybe a flower gold from Latafa or like a YSL Libre if you're looking at um, more mainstream designers. No, this is just slight hints of lavender just to stop it from being a pure play amber perfume if that makes any sense so that is what i experienced in here everything kind of comes through at once it's not like i feel like the scent doesn't really evolve it stays pretty linear it's so pretty guys this is a beautiful elegant perfume unisex if you ask me because I feel like a guy can very easily pull this off same way as a woman. Anyone of any gender really can pull this off. It's beautiful. If you like amber, if you're not an amber lover, if you don't like spicy, sexy, warm type of amber perfumes, you will not like this. I am on an amber roll. In fact, I'll recommend you go to my channel, my other channel where I talk about more mainstream designer perfumes with a sprinkling of niche that's scent solutions that's the name of my other channel you can check it out for my review of my favorite amber perfumes i am on an amber roll in 2023 i'm exploring so many amber perfumes and i am loving it as a note 2022 was my year of 
um, vanilla, but this year it's amber. And oh my God, when amber is done right, absolutely stunning. Same way in this perfume. Guys, I honestly, you know what, what, what gets me with this one is for the price point. Oh my goodness. This is good quality perfumery for this price. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. Absolutely stunning. If you like amber in perfumes, you want to experience a warm, cozy, sexy as hell amber. This you should try. If you don't like amber, you don't like spiciness, you don't like, you know, elements of labdanum in your perfume, then you won't like this. But guys, if you're an amber lover, try this perfume. Absolutely stunning. I love, love, love it. Smells a little boozy, smells a little resinous, smells a little sweet. Just a little bit of everything is going on in here. Perfection, in my opinion. And I totally, totally recommend this if you're looking for something sexy and warm again unisex you can wear this to the office you can wear this out i call it like a date night scent in my own opinion i even feel like this works very well on dates like it's going to give you that sexy mysterious appeal <laughs> yes i love 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 this and then it projects pretty well so it projects just enough for you to be noticed without necessarily overpowering the room. Do you understand? So yeah, it's going to create a scent bubble around you. It's going to also, you're going to get whiffs of it, like in the course of the day. It's not, I mean, someone on the corridor is not going to smell you, but within arm's length, oh my God, you're going to just, you're going to be radiating sexiness and class and elegance and just, everything good with this perfume you can tell i like it right so okay enough with the pontification from me i think this is beautiful i think it's gorgeous i think you should try it for the price point it's absolutely amazing great quality this lasts about let's say how many hours did i get on my skin with this i got about three four hours on skin on my coats i got about six hours so you might need to respray at some point, but still, I love this. Love, love, love it. It's gorgeous. It's elegant. Try it if you're an amber lover. Let me know what you think. Until I see you on another video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and enjoy the rest of your day or night. Bye, guys.